This workout consists of three rounds of 30 seconds on and 15 seconds off. And you're gonna therapist here and for today's video I got a hit workout for you guys today that was done today actually a couple of hours ago uh, today we're March 23rd so you guys know when it was done this workout consists of three rounds of 30 seconds on and 15 seconds off and you're gonna do them three times so every round is gonna be roughly nine minutes long for a total of 27 minutes and then we're gonna add a finisher which is more of a burpee of 30 seconds on 30 seconds off for three more rounds and we're gonna total that off with a 30 minute hip workout. Now before we jump into the video guys, don't forget to please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you guys do know when these videos come out and give me a like because the more likes I get, the more that the YouTube algorithm just posts my videos so everyone can do that. If you do wanna join in these workout on Instagram Live, go down below, I have my Instagram tag right there, it's at ZBenBushta. You guys can go click in my stories, I have a schedule for the whole week. We have a morning 9.30 a.m mobility work class, yoga class, deep tissue work for the lower body, for the upper body. And then we have a later session at 5 p.m., whether it be uh, boxing cardio, hit workout, uh, resistance training, or high intensity, uh, high intensity resistance training. So we're mixing all those together to give you guys as many different workouts as you can and to keep you moving every day through what's going on right now in the world. So we're gonna jump into the first circuit, guys. And the first circuit is gonna consist of butt kicks, side to side, fast speed, jumping jacks, and leg raises. Now for the butt kicks, we wanna make sure that we're really hitting our butt, keeping those leg up, and keeping that consistent because we want that heart rate to slowly start coming up. And then for the fast speed, if you guys don't have any cones or anything, like it's okay. As you can see in the video, I use toilet paper as my pretend cones or kind of ladder drill. So you're just gonna go side to side for 30 seconds. For the jumping jacks, again, we're just the first circuit is really meant to just increase that heart rate. So we're going for jumping, uh, jumping jacks, nice and clean. And then last one, we're ending it with a leg raise, just to really get that lower core involved. For the next round, again, you're doing this for three rounds, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. You're gonna start with high knees. So we're really trying to bring those knees as high up as we can, but as well, increasing the speed through each round. Again, this is a hit workout, guys. So we're trying to really push our heart rate to go as high as we can and try to maintain it for as high as we can. So you're really pushing it for 30 seconds, high knees. Next, next exercise is gonna be a back squeeze. So just like Superman, so you're gonna grab a towel, you're gonna add some tension in that towel, and you're gonna pull as if you're trying to do a pull up on the floor, and then we're gonna extend outwards. That's gonna engage our low traps. As well, because we're doing the back squeeze, we're adding in those glutes and the erectors, and the whole posterior chain is contracting at the same time. Next one is gonna be jump squats. So pretty simple, jump up and down. Again, we're trying to go at least to 90 degrees and then explode upwards and keep that at a good pace. And then we're finishing it off with ab twist. Now, if you wanna make this a little bit more challenging, you can grab anything that you have in the house, either whether it be a heavy book, maybe you guys actually do have weights, or maybe a water jug, grab whatever you want, and we'll go for ab twists. Next round, again, super simple. You see I use toilet paper for this next one. It's called box like jumps up and over, just like you would in the gym when you're grabbing a bench and you're jumping up and over something. I put the toilet paper down there just as like a pretend, a pretend obstacle for me to jump up and over with, going for 30 seconds. The next exercise is gonna be plank holds. Plank holds the stance. So we're going in a plank and then we're coming into a push up and we're coming back down. You guys can do 15 seconds on one side, 15 seconds on the other side. If you do get tired, you can just hold the plank for the rest of the duration. Then we're going straight into mountain climbers. This one, we're not really trying to focus too much on the contraction of the abs, but we're really just trying to go as fast as we can. And then we're gonna finish with opposite toe touches. So we're gonna lay down and flat on your back, track the core, and then touch your right hand to your left foot and then left hand to your right foot. If this becomes a little bit more hard or difficult for you guys, as the rounds consist, you can do your hand to your knee and lift your knee up and it's like a partial toe touch. Then when all those rounds are done, you think everything's over, you guys got roughly a minute off and then you're gonna finish with burpees. So here we're trying to go all out, finish everything we have. We're doing strict burpees. You're going all the way down, chest to ground, back up, explode, clap your hands, go back down. Explode, explode, explode for 30 seconds and we're really just trying to empty out the tank here and finish everything off. Once that's all done, I want you guys just to do a little bit of a cool down because there's no reason why you shouldn't do a hit workout and not cool down. I'm not here to just give you a workout and that's it, that's all. 
I'm here to guys give you a full structured workout plan. So when you finish, take a minute, breathe a bit, dry off, grab some water if you need. Then what I want you to do, you're gonna place your hands on your hips. You're gonna try to break down that breath. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to relax our upper breathing muscles, secondary breathing muscles, because our heart rate is gonna be quite high. So we really wanna relax all this and not let the breath take control of us. We wanna control that breath, so we're gonna breathe with our diaphragm. So we're breathing with our stomach, up and open. Breathing out. What we're trying to do here, we do a little bit of some box breathing. So the amount of time that you breathe in, so let's say it takes you about two uh, seconds to take a breath in. You're gonna try to double that on the exhale. So you're gonna try to breathe out for four seconds, five seconds, six seconds, and you're gonna repeat that for roughly about two minutes. We're really trying to bring down that sympathetic nervous system, that fight or flight that we just go, that we just went through, and then relax. Once our breath calms down a little bit, I want you guys to finish off with laying on your back. Put your feet up against the wall. Let your legs just shake lightly and just breathe here. Again, trying to calm down even more. This, what it's gonna do, it's gonna take that lymphatic system and it's just gonna slowly drain all the fluid that we just put in all our legs so that lactic acid can circulate throughout our body and then we can clean it all up so that tomorrow we can reduce DOMS and soreness and et cetera. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. If you were here doing the live with me today, I know there's a couple of people that did and they messaged me. Thank you for joining. There's gonna be a lot more videos coming out, so don't forget to stay tuned, guys. I hope everyone is doing well, training hard. Don't forget, you guys have me as a tool to do all these workouts for you so you don't have to make them up yourself. It's your boy, that's it, Zach. Punch, headbutt, elbow, knee. Peace.